In our quest to log back pressure, we have managed to seize a pipe plug in our manifold. After trying many methods to remove the plug, I have been defeated, but the war is not yet over. Despite my efforts to save some time by drilling and tapping the manifold during another job, it has to come off again. This may not be absolutely necessary, but in an effort to keep any metal shavings or other foreign material out of the turbo and exhaust valves, it's going to be removed. I look at this as cheap insurance. With the manifold off, we can perform more destructive procedures without worrying about debris. First up, a bolt extractor. This thing was not budging, so we added some heat to the mix. No, I'm not playing with fire. The heat allows the penetrating oil to seep further into the threads, hopefully allowing me to extract the seized plug. And there goes the tap handle. The ratcheting type tap handles are great for cutting new threads in a properly sized hole but should be avoided in high stress situations. Back to the old trusty steel tap handle. Yes, I got it loose. Nope. Just rounded off a hardened extractor. Finally, I found a solution involving a welder. Weld a washer to the protruding plug. Then weld a nut to the top of the washer. I weld it around the outside, but ensure you leave enough room for the wrench to fit over the nut. Voila, easy extraction. The slag is easily removed using a chisel to scrape it off. We will do the same thing to remove the other strip plug, but you get to see the entire process this time. This method has worked for me before, but after the amount of time and effort spent on this extraction, I will be sure to incorporate the welder into many more extractions. Now that this problem is out of the way, it's time to reassemble the car and get after that map sensor. Make sure you follow the recommended torque specs. Don't get into such a hurry that you forget about safety. Flying turbo bolts can be painful. need to ensure this problem is not encountered again if we need to remove one of the plugs. I have already drilled and tapped the manifold so unless I want an exhaust leak I have to plug them with something. I chose these hex head 304 stainless steel pipe plugs coated in Loctite non-metal anti-seize to accomplish this task. Stainless steel has a higher melting point than the mild steel we were using and should hold up to the heat of the exhaust manifold. Although it's ugly and definitely not attractive, the hex head provides a solid surface to properly remove the plug in the future. Only time will tell if I have learned my lesson yet. Back pressure readings coming soon. Happy boosting.